Yeah, I've always been doing it on and off, you know. Um, when I was living in Paris, I was working with Philippe, the guitarist. Uh, we did some gigs together, produced some music, an album out there. It's funny for me because people know me from my photography, and, and if you, I mean, a lot of people think of me as being shy, which I am actually quite shy, but once I've got the camera in my hand, I'm in control, and same thing when it comes to the music on stage. Once I'm on stage, I'm a completely different person, you know. I, I just go for it and, you know, do what I have to do. I've always seen myself as an artist, but I use the camera. The camera is my tool. The sculpture may use a scalpel, you know, with a chisel and all that, you know. The paint used a paintbrush. I use a camera. But as an artist, there is no barriers, you know. As an artist, I can go from photography to music, there's no boundaries in art, and that's what I do. I'm an artist. I've always seen myself as an artist. We've been quietly working together, and we've actually done some gigs on a different name, like one of the names we had was Lamb's Bread, but we didn't feel that was the right name. Well, Basement Five was really where it all started for me, and it was kind of... Um, uh, I'd reach a point in my photographic life as such where I just wanted to change. I just wanted to create something different because I was doing lots of imagery for other bands or whatever and I had this sound in my head so I decided to just put something together, you know. And uh, so I created the, uh, the visuals, the music, the bass player and, you know, we got everything together and went out there and uh, it created a big wave. Um, as a band now, it's very influential, you know. You've got people like Asian Dub Foundation, even Stone Roses said they've been influenced by it, you know. And the thing is now, we're very much in vogue, or the sound of Basement 5 is very much in vogue. Lots of people are asking for the album. And uh, so Stanley Kubrick is uh, an advancement of Basement 5. The basement has been refurbished. Um, youth came up with the name Stanley Kubrick goes shopping and say, hey, that sounds good. So then we found the name, we found the format, found the visual ideas, music together, and then now it's like, hey, this is it. This is where we're at. It's fantastic, absolutely amazing. And it's good to be jumping around with uh, some good friends. You know. Who sent you? Why do you speak such lies? Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? I saw it on a plastic carrier bag. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And uh, I asked the guy, what's that? And he said, oh, it's a film I've made. And I said, oh, can I use that for a batter name? And he went, yeah, I'll be honoured. So you plagiarised it? <clears throat> yeah, I nicked it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The, the thing about it is that with Stanley Kubrick, apart from being a filmmaker, he was actually a very accomplished photographer. He and he started, was a punk. Yeah, he started as a photographer. And also, a lot of the films he made, he actually um, wrote the music as well. Yeah. So he was a very, yeah, he was a very complete um, yeah. uh, cinema photographer. And the red herring is, he hated shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, so good.
already here on my website, um, www.dennismorris.com, to see my images. Uh, you can go on YouTube and Stanley Kubrick goes shopping to see the, the band, the track, Crazy Ballhead, and a few other bits and pieces.